Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekah Kodash. Double honors to the pastors and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Um, now this is a video. Uh, so often, um, I'ma just say, um, so often people attack the truth, you know, the Hebrew Israelite truth. Well, this is, uh, this is showing you that Christianity is, um, is nonsense. And every time something happens with, um, with the truth, like somebody could be in, um, know about the truth and commit a crime or something. And people like vocab alone will try to connect that person with the truth to say that, um, the truth is, um, to try to pit dirt on the truth. Well, if that's the case, then these, uh, Christians, uh, these Christians been lost the war, been lost the battle, been lost that battle because every time you turn around somebody's, it's a mass killing. They had to do something with a, uh, a Christian church, a Christian preacher. As you see on the screen, it says, husband motivated speaker accused of murdering wife at Orlando Credit Union. So this Christian uh, pastor who calls himself the prophet, fatally shoots wife at a Lando workplace. So, you you Christians, I'm gonna just I'm gonna play the clip. Let's um widen up the screen for you, brothers. Sylvester Ofori was very subdued and quiet while facing a judge this afternoon. He's accused of murdering his wife, Barbara Tommy, as she went to work at Navy Federal Credit Union on Tuesday morning. Prosecutor say the killing was caught on video. Video surveillance, which shows Mr. Ofori not only shoot his wife, but then stand over her body and put additional rounds into her head. Afori is pastor of this church, Floodgates of Heaven, on Coburn Avenue in Orlando. No one answered the door here today, but on his Facebook page, Afori calls himself a prophet. Got quite a social media following where he's, you know, speaks to his followers and uh, called himself a prophet. His followers. After the shooting, police went to this apartment building on Raleigh Street where Afori and Tommy had at one point lived together. Investigators say they brought the SWAT team and eventually found him in the home. We had a good feeling that he was going to be in there. Um, we don't believe there was any risk to the public or, or immediate danger to the public. Police have not said what told Tommy and Afori were getting a divorce. Court records also show that in 2016, Afori was arrested for resisting an officer who responded to an argument between two. Someone committed a heinous act of violence towards a loved one, um, and there's unfortunately no excuse for that. No one... All right, so you Israelites, man, get out those churches. Don't have anything to do with those churches. We're going to go right to the scriptures on this matter because, um, yeah, these, hey, that's nowhere for an Israelite to be at inside of these churches because throughout all these years and centuries and decades, these churches was teaching us a lie. Acts 7 and 48. It reads uh, 748. How about the Most High dwell not in temples made with hands? And saith the prophet, Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. What house will you build me? saith the Lord. So, yeah, the Most High ain't dealing with those uh, churches and you got these, uh, you got these mega churches. The Most High ain't dealing with that. You know, the Heavenly Father told us to go out on the highways and byways, and when two or more, I believe it's three or more, are gathered, that's the church. So you people just skip right over those scriptures. I mean, 
which I don't think those scriptures exist. No, because though up you up in those churches, they don't they don't teach you those churches. This the same uh this the same this the second uh saying same scripture but just in a different um part of the scriptures. How about the most high dwelt not in temples made with hands? You know? We can read this. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in hearts and ears. That's that's most that's most of you Israelites. Go to Proverbs. 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be, be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So you are uh, other nations. Yeah, y'all going to y'all going to get punished, punished. The, um, the heavenly father didn't send his son to, to save everybody. And that's the main thing they teach in these wicked uh, churches that everybody can be saved. Everybody's going to be saved, no matter who you are. Just come as you are. And that's a lie. So that's why, hey, that's why things happen like that. The guy, you know, these Christians are out of their mind. They're out of their mind up in these Christian churches. So vocab, why, why didn't you do a story on that? That's my thing. Why didn't you why 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 didn't you do a story on that uh vocat? Let's get uh Exodus. See vocab he he quiet as a mouse, a church mouse. He quiet as a church mouse mouse when when things happen like that. But he wanna connect every you how you gonna connect um something that ha hey you can connect this straight with the um with that church. It says Exodus twenty three and two Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in cause to decline after many to rest judgment. And that's uh that's what Vocab and his crew that's what they're all about, you know, speaking evil against the Hebrew Israelites. All you jakes that follow behind vocab, the Lord going to destroy you if you don't come up out of that, you know. And that's the reason why I pull that up, because every time, every time you turn around, you got a Christian preacher shooting up the whole place, killing his wife, killing his family members, doing a, a multi, going in the church and shooting, you know. But vocab don't got nothing to say about that. That just goes under the radar. He just thinks the Hebrew Israelites, all the Hebrew Israelites are bad. This Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a, but a just weight is his delight. And um, we follow, you know, we are uh, following what the Lord says, you know. We uh, come straight out of the scriptures. Um, unlike Vocab Malone and, and those guys, they don't follow the scriptures. Um, we follow the Lord, you know. Everything it says in the scriptures, we follow, you know. We um, letting go out on the highways and byways, letting the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the real Jews, the real Hebrew Israelites, who they are. Because our nationality was taken from us during slavery. And a little bit before that. But, you know, before, I'm not going to go too, too deep in the history. Before we was conquered, we knew we knew a little bit who we are, you know. And it's evident. So um, over there in um, Europe, they knew that they were uh, the sons, the Scot, the Scots, the Englishmen. They knew that they were the sons of Jacob, you know. Let's get this uh, to close it out. 
We can go to Matthews 7, 15. I'll go to 15. It reads, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are raven wolves. You know, you hey, these mega churches, you got Eddie Bishop Eddie Long, Steve, which was uh, Jake's, Stevie Jake's. Whatever his name is, um, vocab, all these false uh, people telling you Christianity is the way when Christianity is, is, is the main thing that uh, destroyed our people. Because first of all, you put up a false image. You put up Caesar Borgia. Then you told you, you said that the Heavenly Father was white. The son is white. You know, which which. They changed their, the Edomites changed their name to white because they're not really white. They're red. They're uh, Caucasian, meaning cave dwellers. The Lord, the Lord, the Heavenly Father and the Son don't need tan, suntan lotion for something that they created. Why would, why would the Lord come, come on earth looking like that with that translucent skin? Don't you don't you know? Well, Edomites do come from that region, but that's why they we say they red because the 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 blood showed through their skin. And why would the Lord need suntan lotion going through, walking through all those deserts like that? You know, that's why the Heavenly Father put you up in those caves because you will you you know you had a covering. And Edom, and Edom, to this uh, to this day is still over there. Um, Petra, you go over at Petra, the the the, um, the architecture still looks like Rome. You know, everywhere they go, they they went, they uh, they left you know evidence of of you know their uh, civilization. The architect, the architect looked exactly alike. From Edom, from Petra, Edom, you know, Basra, all the way to uh, Greek or Greece, the Greek civilization, all the way to Rome, all the way to the Western, Westernized civilization, you know, Germany, England, when you came, when you came back in power, the United States, all the architecture is still the same. And then you get it from e uh, Egyptians. And guess what? The Egyptians got it from an Israelite, Joseph. So however you look at it, you you, you still you still um you still borrow borrow just style from the Israelites. You know? But I hope this was edifying to the body, you know. Hey, if you if you if you woke, get out them churches. You know, that's just, it's not where it's at. Our people have been failing for so long going up in these churches. And people are waking up, you know. People are waking up. But till again, shalom on.